As Ukrainian forces advance on the southern city of Kherson, Russian-backed officials are urging civilians to flee. The Ukrainians say Russia mined a large hydroelectric dam in the region and may blow it up to cause a massive disaster and slow the counteroffensive. The developments on the southern front come as Russia continues to target Ukraine's power grid, plunging much of the country into darkness. With winter around the corner, a lack of electricity will have many civilians freezing as the war grinds on. Ukraine and its allies are calling for more military support while the battlefield changes and the threats against Ukraine increase. Winter is coming, so it's really imperative that the U.S. government and politicians continue to support the war effort, not only through passing funding, uh, but also engaging in the international community in discussion with NATO. Daniel Elkins is the founder of the Special Operations Association of America. He provides updated information to a variety of people, from ground soldiers to policymakers in Washington, with Russia now using Iranian-made drones and looking to countries like North Korea for ammunition. Elkins explains how the conflict is developing. Who are all of Russia's allies right now? Iran, North Korea, China. So I think it's very important that we continue to support this war effort because this is not just a battle for Ukraine against Russia. This is a battle against democracy and tyranny. Russia's defense minister spoke today with European counterparts, warning that Ukraine could use a dirty bomb on the battlefield. There is no evidence to support this propaganda by Moscow, but certainly of concern to analysts who say this could be Russia laying the groundwork for a false flag attack. Eric. You can only hope the Ukrainians continue to push the Russians out. Trey Yanks tonight for us in Kyiv. Thank you, Trey.